having a God-centered or what we would say in Sikhi, a more Wai Guru, uh, Guru-focused uh, marriage. So according to the Lava, Guru Sahib very clearly instructs us that a marriage is two bodies and one soul. So how do you really do this? It's done at starting at your Amritvila and doing regular bhakti together. There's a picture here that we're going to show, which is painted by Minder Singh from uh, the north here. And he beautifully shows two souls doing bhakti together. And Patake Vajdeya in terms of the way your soul uh, basically discovers the light of Vaiguru and both of you merge. So yeah, you are two bodies, but you're one soul. And you do so much bhakti together that you become intuitive to the point you can communicate without talking. You simply understand each other. And over time, that's how the two bodies become one soul. And this is how you create a strong marriage. It's based on mutual understanding and commitment. A marriage when bhagati and mutual understanding are the central focus is a strong marriage. If you don't have that, then you can have a problematic marriage. And sometimes what happens is external people, whether relatives, friends, however well intentioned they may be, can cause issues in your marriage. And this is when you're, these, these things then start dividing the two people if your marriage is internally weak. However, if your marriage is internally strong, there's no one on this earth that can ever break your marriage. And this is the way we want to make every single marriage in our month that basically is a bhakti-focused and a mutually understanding-based marriage.